Have you ever imagined living in a floating city, cruising the seas in unparalleled luxury and sustainability? Meet Pangaos, the proposed Teriact, set to redefine opulence on the waves. This billion-dollar engineering odyssey promises a glimpse into the future of maritime living, boasting amenities like hotels, shopping centers, and parks, all housed within a massive turtle-shaped hull. Join us on Exquisite Enclave as we dive into the groundbreaking design, innovative technologies, and ambitious construction plans that could make Pangeos the ultimate symbol of luxury and innovation on the high seas. This proposed massive turtle-shaped yacht could become the largest sea vessel ever built if constructed in Saudi Arabia. The project, named after the ancient supercontinent Pangaea, aims to create a floating city. So, who designed the concept of the ship? The Terayacht idea began to be worked on in 2009 by an Italian designer, Pierpaolo Lazzarini, through his company, Lazzarini Design Studio, by making the gigantic cruise ship's blueprints. The yacht's innovative shape and size would make it a unique addition to the seas, offering luxurious accommodations and facilities akin to a city on water. This ambitious project reflects a blend of imaginative design and technological advancement, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in maritime architecture. World's largest yacht, this massive turtle-shaped yacht is set to potentially become the largest sea vessel ever constructed, surpassing even the current title holder for the world's biggest yacht, the German-built Azam, and the largest sea vessel ever constructed, the Seawise Giant. The current record holder, Azam, boasts an impressive length of 180.61 meters, while the Seawise Giant, built by the Japanese firm Sumitomo Heavy Industries, stretches to a massive 458.45 meters. Pangeos, however, is proposed to dwarf these giants with its colossal dimensions. The yacht is planned to be an astonishing 550 meters long and 610 meters wide. The design showcases the potential of 3D technology for visualizing intricate designs, reflecting a blend of imaginative design and technological advancement. If realized, Pangeos would not only be a marvel of engineering, but also a testament to human creativity and the pursuit of grand visionary ideas. Its sheer size and innovative design would make it a unique addition to the sea. The proposed construction of Pangeos in Saudi Arabia highlights the country's ambition to push the boundaries of maritime architecture and establish itself as a leader in innovative projects. While the project is still in the planning stages, its potential to reshape the concept of luxury yachts and sea vessels is undeniable, setting a new standard for maritime extravagance and engineering prowess. Inside Pangeos, a floating city on the seas. Pangeos is envisioned to be a floating city with a range of amenities and accommodations, redefining luxury and extravagance on the seas. The scale of the project is immense, with the capacity to accommodate an astounding 60,000 guests, in addition to an unspecified number of crew members and staff. The layout of Pangeos is designed to be spacious and luxurious. Each side wing of the vessel will feature 19 villas and 69 apartments. The rooftop shell will include 72 terraces, some offering stunning sea views, while others overlooking the central port area of the vessel. Unlike traditional cruise ships or yachts, where the destination is the highlight, Pangeos itself is intended to be the star attraction. Powered by nine 16,800 horsepower HTS engines, the vessel is expected to have a top speed of just five knots, reflecting its focus on leisurely cruising and luxury living. Given its size and purpose, Pangeos will provide various transportation options for guests wishing to travel between the vessel and other locations. These options may include using other sea vessels or aircraft. A glimpse into the future of luxury terayachts. The main shell area of Pangeos will house various facilities, including hotels, shopping centers, parks, and public spaces. One of the standout features of Pangeos is its purported unsinkability, achieved through the incorporation of 30,000 steel cells beneath the hull providing redundancies to ensure the safety of its passengers. The upper shell zone is designed to accommodate passengers who own flying cars. Although this concept has yet to gain widespread adoption, this zone highlights the futuristic and luxurious nature of Pangeos, offering a unique and extravagant experience for its guests. Pangeos is designed to cruise fueled by solar power and other clean energy sources on board. The vessel's innovative design allows it to collect energy from the breaking of waves using its large front flippers, enabling it to stay in perpetual motion without emitting harmful emissions. Additionally, Pangeos features a sprawling shipyard for its residents to park their yachts and superyachts after enjoying trips on the waves, further enhancing the luxurious experience on board. For those interested in Pangeos but unable to afford ownership, 
An alternative option is to purchase a virtual space on the superstructure as a non-fungible token. This virtual ownership not only provides a unique digital asset, but also serves as a property deposit should Pangeos ever be constructed, offering a glimpse into the innovative financing models being explored for such ambitious projects. Building Pangeos Lazzarini Design Studio estimates that the project will require an investment of approximately $8 billion to become a reality. To fund this ambitious venture, an NFT crowdfunding initiative has been launched, allowing backers to purchase virtual space on Pangeos within the metaverse using cryptocurrency. Construction of Pangeos is projected to take eight years, showcasing the complexity and scale of the project. One of the significant challenges is finding a suitable location large enough for such a colossal construction endeavor. Designers at Lazzarini have identified Saudi Arabia as a potential site, specifically the King Abdullah port, due to its size and infrastructure. If the Saudi Arabian government approves, approximately one square kilometer of space in the sea would need to be dredged to create a suitable construction site. Additionally, a circular dam would be constructed to control water levels during the construction process. However, it's important to note that Pangeos is currently in the conceptual phase, and construction has not yet begun. Despite this, the project represents a futuristic vision of luxury and innovation that could one day come to fruition in Saudi Arabia. Will this floating city become a reality, or will it remain a tantalizing dream? Only time will tell. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the billion-dollar engineering odyssey that is Pangeos. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more fascinating insights into the future of luxury living. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.